Good Monday. I'm Chris Fote. This is Monday Morning Joel. Let's get started. Sharona. Good morning. With us today is Gus Rodriguez, and um, he makes the best Cuban sandwich in fourth grade in Vienna, undoubtedly. I can attest to that. Yeah, I, I can <laughs> too. You are the only Cuban <laughs> No, 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 but other restaurants have Cuban sandwiches. You that's are the true. only Cuban person who makes the Cuban sandwich. Yeah, that, that's right? correct, yes. Right. Well, my wife and I. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Sometimes your son, right? Yeah, and my son too, yes. Okay. This is a family business. So, tell us a little bit about like, what do you do? I mean, what kind of food do you have there? at the uh, Cuban restaurant? Well, yeah, that, that's interesting because uh, if you go to Facebook, for example, you cannot find a restaurant on the Cuban sandwiches, on the Cuban cuisine. Mm -hmm. The general idea is to make more food since we grow. I mean, we need probably some different equipment. Mm -hmm. Till now, uh, the capability is only for sandwiches and some of the more famous dishes, mm -hmm. the Cuban dishes. Uh, Papa rellena, tamales, mm -hmm. but in the future, the, the, the idea is grow and then make a full menu of the Cuban food. So people who does not know what Cuban food is, like can you define, you know, like, like is it like a pork based thing or like what, what is Cuban food? Can I you? define just one word? Yes. Cuban food is salsa. Oh. That, that's what it is. <laughs> that everybody likes to dance salsa. Yeah. Cuban music is salsa. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's true, you know, the salsa is a, is, is, it has a very uh, 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 written, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's, it's a music with written. Mm -hmm. Cuban food uh, is, uh, has a long history, but I, I think that's what is great is because it's the mixing between the, the, our fathers from Spain and the, a lot of Africans. Mm -hmm. That apport a lot of a lot of flavor in our food. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's what make yeah. the Cuban food uh, very famous. Mm -hmm. And that wonderful special bread. There's a special bread. <laughs> well, the bread is is it's exactly amazing. the bread that our father from Spain uh, uh -huh. did. You know, it, it's a copy from the mm -hmm. from Spain. It, yeah, it's. I wanted to have the, the kind of oven that they had. Mm -hmm. uh, when I grew up in the, in the bread factory, my father had one, mm -hmm. and it, it's all brick, you know, the oven Ovens, is different, yeah. and it's made with um, leña, with, uh, when you burn it, it sticks, right? Okay. It's not diesel or electricity, mm -hmm. it's wood. Yeah. Wood. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's wood different. Wood fire, <laughs> yeah. cooking oven. Right? Exactly, exactly, yeah. yes. So you made you duplicated that for your sandwiches here as well. Exactly. Yes, that's what we try to do our best, of course. And I want to emphasize something else too. Like sometimes people look at Caribbean food and they think that it's uh, spicy. And I think the Cuban food is like, except for the jalapeno, it's not that spicy compared to like many of the other Caribbean. Interesting. Foods. Yeah. Uh, also, not even jalapenos. When I came to this country in year two thousand. I didn't know jalapenos. We don't know jalapenos. <laughs> we have a little, a little pepper in Cuba we call wow wow, and that's probably African mm -hmm. vocable. Yeah. It's, it's it grow uh, by itself in the in the in the, in the forest, mm -hmm. and what we do in Cuba, we um, um, we put that <clears throat> that pepper in in the jar with uh, olive and, and and oil and and olive oil and, and Vinegar, mm -hmm. and we had that and, and you know for years mm -hmm. and only when we drink and well I did not drink a lot but Cuban drinks a lot <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the only exception but they, they do their own you know, the only interest, yeah. I'm probably the exception yeah yeah but the Cuban food yeah the, the answer is this Cuban food is not a spicy mm -hmm. we don't use uh, a lot of a lot of spicy stuff in our food no yeah that's that's not it's a lot, it's a lot of flavor it's a lot it of flavor is. because you, we use a lot of onions, um, garlic, mm -hmm. cumin, cloves, uh, all mm -hmm. those kind of spices that, that made the food really, really flavored. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, this is called Monday Morning Joel. So one of the things we like to know is, for you, what makes Mondays great? And that's really the start of your work week too, isn't it? Or is it not? Are you working well, Sunday night? <laughs> see, uh, <laughs> Uh, what makes uh, really my, my, my Monday different 
is that my son don't want to go to school. I have to. <laughs> I, I have every morning in the morning. I have to. I have a, a big fight in my house because he's lazy. All oh, that you know, that the weekend is over, and that I start the Mondays uh, different. Since January, probably my Mondays would be a lot different. I going back to school. Mm -hmm. I registered for the culinary arts mm -hmm. ah, in cool. Tech. So my Mondays in January would be a lot different. No fun. <laughs> oh, more fun. I don't know. More fun. <laughs> so, more fun. so you went back to school? Yeah, I'm back to school. I'm not so going to destroy my age here. <laughs> so that your son gets inspiration from you going to school, go to school, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. No, my older son is not impressive. You know, I, I really like uh, the books I, all my life. That's what I did. But my, you know, my, my younger said, is that real, Dad? Are you going back to school? And yes, I am. Yeah. He's not. I don't think that he believed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you do something special to get yourself really going on a Monday morning, or prepared for school and prepared for work? Get your son out of the bed. Like other than get, 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 get my son out of the bed. It's, yeah. it's hard on, on Mondays. Uh, Mondays in in Caliente mm -hmm. are uh, um, unbelievable. I mean, this is it, what I what is good on Mondays is sometimes uh, it's eleven o'clock and and you don't see any any people around. You say, mm -mm, I will have a very bad day. Mm -hmm. And five minutes later, all tables are full. Yeah. So Mondays are unpredictable, really, and it is good because it, six months ago I were not prepared for Mondays. Now I know that I had to have more food probably than any other day because Mondays are, uh, for me, it's, it's different. P -p people get me all the time, you know, Mondays. It's, I don't know, and I think the Americans, since you eat more, you need to eat more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, a, you know, a, after the holidays, or yeah. when the holidays pass, you say, oh, the people are full, they are eight around. No, no, they don't. They're it's, full it's, of turkey. It's never enough. <laughs> yeah. It is never enough, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Mondays are, are Mondays. I think that the, there are two days very significant in in the week. Mondays and Fridays. I, I don't know, but they are different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Well, you also picked a good city because did you see that recently the uh, Center for Disease Control said that we were the city that had was number two in clogged arteries. So uh, <laughs> we like to eat a lot. No, yes. no, no, but <laughs> no. When, when you eat Cuban food, you don't that's swear. Not, yeah. Well. Yeah. See, yeah. three years eating sandwiches every right. day. He's, I'm, I'm not. He's doing well. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, uh, it, it's good to talk about that because yeah. I don't think that, that our food has not fat. But what I think is we use the fresh meat. We do not mm -hmm. add anything, you know, like it, it's not a lot of carbohydrate. It, it's meat mm -hmm. and the bread. The bread is, is really, you say in English, really thick mm -hmm. or thin. It, it's not, it, I mean, the bread we thin. do, it's thin, it's very thin, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. that's what, what made the sandwich different, the bread, you eat more meat and, you know, and condiments than, than bread, that's right. it's not a lot of bread. No, it's perfect. So, like, you, I mean, I came to this country from a different country, I mean, and you came here, so what kind of business advice that you can give when somebody's starting a business, because it's not easy starting a business, it's a very, very hard thing to do. And I know you have education besides your culinary skills. Yeah. You're going to say be prepared to work yeah. with the government, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the government is an issue that we have to do all the time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very hard to start a business. I tell you that we start the business during when, when, the, when the country went into the very debt crisis. Right. And, and all my friends told me, you're not going to do it. It's, it's nobody open or you're going to start business now. I think the key the key word is work. Mm -hmm. we, we, I, have, I have met some Americans and I have nothing. I love this country. They say, God, but you, you don't have a business. You have a work. You're right. Yeah. This is my work. Mm -hmm. I love what I do. Mm -hmm. and, and some people think the business is only start a business three days. Later, you hire people. They work for you and you make a fortune. Wrong. <laughs> you, you, yeah, that's wrong. That's, it's I think that, yeah, it's work and work and work. That's right. That's what the business means. Mm -hmm. And and I remember a book that I read many years ago that, that uh, one of the Russian mm -hmm. writers came here and, and and he he had an interview with a millionaire and he got surprised the millionaire was working at six a.m. 
He said, but are you working? Yes, every day, 6 a.m. Yeah. And he got surprised. And yeah. I'm not surprised because I do too. <laughs> yes. First you have to get your son out of bed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the first thing I do every day, yeah. Um, yeah, work. Good. Yeah, that is. Mm -hmm. Do you have something that inspires you? A saying, a phrase, something that you live your life by and operate your business by? Like Some people say it's a golden rule. Some people say they... Um, some, Gold, some adage or, or a quote that, that you uh, live by. Well, uh, I think, uh, I don't know how to say that in English, and sorry my accent, but I think so say it in Spanish. our idiosyncrasia, mm -hmm. the Cuban idiosyncrasy, or something like that, or, or, or I say, to be successful, you have to be happy. If you do not love what you do, if you do not have mm -hmm. fun mm -hmm. in what you do, you would not, we never would be successful. That, that's for me. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I do sandwiches or if I play baseball. Or if, if I had to have fun, love mm -hmm. what you do. Yeah, mm -hmm. love what you do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I remember that most of my uh, co-workers in community have a bank said, "This is a different place since you start." Mm -hmm. And I think that they will say now, "This is a different place again since I quit," <laughs> because yeah, I have to smile all the time. Mm -hmm. I have to have fun mm -hmm. and. I don't think that I'm very disciplined because I, <laughs> I, I laugh all the time, smile, and, and no yeah. matter what the situation is, and, that's what we have to do. Sometimes it's even funny because I drive on State Street and he and his wife they're dancing inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the music on. That's so, yeah, that's, that's true. Great. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. So if you could have one superpower, pick one superpower, you know, a man of strength, the uh, best of the speeding bullet, uh, okay. <laughs> the invisible man, I don't know, what would that be? Uh, I want to see my oldest son graduate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be a superpower. That's a superpower, but I think he has the power and the personality, you know, to get it done. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to Purdue, right? He's at Purdue, uh, he wants to be an actor. I uh, I don't like oh, that. Really? Uh, I hate the medicine. <laughs> Sorry, the doctor that's been watching this. Uh, the odor on the hospital, you know, made me really down. But um, I want in in Q. I think like here we the generation through generation all we want for uh, the, the the our children is started and started. You know, get. Uh, more knowledge uh, and be better human. Improved. Yeah, improve. Always improving. Always improving, yeah. That's, for me, I do not expect a lot. I, I just caliente, if I can get graduated, my, my plans are different. I, but all in the food hinder to me, mm -hmm. probably, yes. Okay, and tell us about something about you. Now, he told me you dance when you're alone in there, so that's not something that would surprise me. <laughs> but tell us something about you that would surprise... And a very bad dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I am. And you are from Cuba. That's, yeah. That's like a very bad... I'm a special Cuban. I told you, I'm a very Everybody bad dancer. Cuba. I do not smoke. I do not drink uh, yeah. a lot of rum and beer. So all that would surprise me. I don't me. like the baseball. Yeah. You know, I don't, I, yeah, yeah, I hate the baseball. Yeah. And, and, but uh, yeah, I dance. My wife is an excellent dancer, and mm -hmm. and she said that I'm an horrible student. I know that, but but when I when I listen uh, the music CD, I, I have I think written in my veins. Mm -hmm. I have in her from the Africans that ability to feel the music. I feel the music mm -hmm. when I when I listen a drum or something. I'm like a, one of those. Uh, People that are, I'm, yeah, I'm, I get sick. I have to dance. It doesn't matter. That's I move my, my 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 legs, you know, and yeah. that's what he do when he cross around Caliente. He oh, God, it's, it's horrible. He looks bad <laughs> and throw the windows, but it doesn't matter. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So, how do people get hold of you? I mean, where is the restaurant? And what's the web address? Tell us like the phone number and that sort of stuff. Well, uh, Caliente, I, I have tried to put my restaurant in, in the social media, you know, mm -hmm. like a Facebook. Text. Mm -hmm. Yeah, text 90210 and World Caliente, and they can get uh, the first day something for free. And then they have, uh, they will receive the message about what is in the special. Mm -hmm. We have a very nice website, mm -hmm. www.calienteqn.com. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, your your addresses. Where, where you uh, our physical address is eleven twenty three East State Boulevard, 
One real estate told me once, guys, that says nothing. You have to say crescent and stay. Everybody yeah. knows that <laughs> corner. The corner so of crescent and The corner of crescent, uh, crescent and stay. And, and yeah, that's the where we are. The bright yellow building. Yeah, yeah. We, we, are, we are across the street from the bank that is mm -hmm. closed, the uh, former national city. And, and beside Agniwa, everybody knows Agniwa pretty much in four ways. So we are in the same block. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, where Agni Bar is. And to your phone, because I know you do. Our phone. Pick up orders. Yeah, four seven one zero seven zero zero. This is a commercial number. When <laughs> <laughs> when I come and ask, when I open the restaurant, a lady told me, "I will help you with this number because everybody will will love it." And that that is a good number because it's easy for four seven three. What was it? Oh, let me think in English. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, four seven one zero seven zero zero four seven one zero seven zero zero. Good. And, and now I put it in a, in a restaurant in the front. Mm -hmm. So because people say I want to order and, and pick the order up, and that is it's easy for remember. It. Yes. <clears throat> so we would like to thank us for coming in and joining thank us today. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, and we'd like to thank the audience for listening in. Um, we are recording at uh, New Ground Coffee Company. Uh, it's a new equation for us and I would like to thanks again and this is Monday Morning Jolt, use it. <laughs>